today, we've got to get our breeder pig separated. Too, they're too young to breed. Hopefully it's not too late. It hasn't already happened. And get them in their winter housing separated from each other. Look at this, look how easy this is. Wow, that's super easy. Look guys, we did it. Go ahead and set the ramp up. We got a Polyface Designs ramp. Show them how cool that ramp is. This wide, long ramp is an absolute game changer. <laughs> it doesn't get more peaceful than that. We went ahead and set up another paddock beside the pigs. They've had electric fence there, so they're not gonna wanna just come over. So our idea is to feed in the trailer Probably leave, because I don't think they'll just go in there. Maybe they will, but leave, feed them half their food, go set up where we want to put them, come back hopefully with the other half of the food and get them in that trailer. You think that'll work? Okay. Jonah pulled the fence away. Let's see if they'll come. Look, they came, they came. Okay. Here, put some feed in that red pan. Not all of it. Let's save some of it for this for later this morning. So. We're not putting them in right now because we're not ready. I don't even know if they'll go in right now. Try to put that bucket on the other side of the fence. We're not going to shut them in because we don't know how. Hopefully we'll get that done. We might not, but you never know. So we're going to start training them to the trailer. Big, 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 powerful I'm not real excited about whatever that is. What is that? What is the milk? Milk? Yeah, milk and uh, whatever you, yesterday we Meats. cooked. Yeah. Right, we're just gonna leave that feed pan in there and just let them go in there on their own time, get used to it. And my plan is when we come back, they'll go right in. So while they're getting used to it and trained, we're gonna be working and setting up their paddock. If the room doesn't get eaten before we get over there. Okay, who wants to make a bet? They'll go in there and find it. They'll go in there and find their food. Raise your hand. <laughs> Y'all don't think they'll go in there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Nobody? Gideon thinks. They'll go. You think they'll go, Santa? Santa thinks they'll go. <laughs> you think they'll go? Okay, us against Jonah, we'll see. Can that be got over easy? Maybe if you put a bucket on one side. Or a ladder. Side, get, get, get another a one on the other side. I can get across it, but you guys might want to get a stool on either side. Let's see how those work. I've never used them. But they promise to be convenient. I'm gonna let you mess with it. We've got two over here, we're rolling. Let's get these on here. This is a quick, sturdy fence right here. All right, John, the tire twine on that end, and we'll stretch it all the way over to the door. Hope this works. We can only cut such distances. Can't like cut right in the middle, you know? You need it to be on a, on a vertical hook. We got it. We got it. It's set up. I think it's gonna be a little complicated getting them both out and then separated. I think it's easier to get them both in one and then I, I guess we shouldn't have done that. I was thinking we could get one off in one side and one off in the other. That's gonna be too complicated. They're gonna be wanting to stay together. I think it's gonna be easier to get them in here, calm them down, and then, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of rework and unattach this and then get one over. I don't know if that's gonna hold a pig back. I mean, we can scratch the store, but this is just poultry wire. I think they're gonna bust out of that. This, this poultry wire? It'd be nice if they wouldn't, because then it would be a good entry here. But honestly, I think we're gonna have to put cattle panel or pig panels here. So think I'm thinking we're panels? I'm thinking we're out of time. I'm thinking we need to milk. I would have a room just go milk, but I really need to check 
Phyllis for mastitis. We've treated her. It's been time since the treatment. Now it's time to test to see if it worked. Lily, yeah. it's time to go, honey. Before we go out there, let's see if the pigs, I'm just curious to see if the pigs got in the trailer. What's going on? I already got them in the trailer. Oh my. <laughs> Had they eaten their food? Yes, they ate it. Okay, well I guess I didn't give you the memo. I didn't think we had time to move them right now. Really? All right, maybe we will, I guess. Were they in the trailer? No, but they had eaten and they left. And then they walked right in for you? Okay. I feel like we need to go milk. Because this could take a while. You just never know. All right, we've all decided we will come back. They've got, they've got some deep bedding in their trailer. Hopefully it won't be long. Hour-ish. Good job putting them in, man. Okay. Real good job. We've been treating Phyllis for a minor case of mastitis last week. You know, his teeth. It does look yellow, that, that, that quarter. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm gonna have to contact Josh, see what to, what to do there. Cause boy, I really gave her the treatment. <laughs> <laughs> We're back at the house, ready to do these pigs. It feels like the day is getting away from us. But we got those pigs in the trailer. <laughs> We're committed. How's that? This better. That'll close on the trailer? Yep. Okay. Here, Jonah, get in there and block them. This will come to about right here. Block them, block them, block them. Don't let them come out yet. Hold this door just that. Look at this, look how easy this is. You can you need to. You can you keep, you keep cheesecake back, we're doing great. All right, get him in. Hey, Biggie. Biggie, no, here. He's back. All right. You keep him in the room, I'll pull the tractor forward and we'll get her in here. Wow, this is working out nicely. <laughs> I like how calm these pigs are. The hope is we've got beefcake in, no problem. He's really calm. We're gonna try to see if cheesecake will go as smoothly. Wow, that's super easy. Oh my gosh. Woo! Look guys, we did it. <laughs> I can rest easy now. They're not gonna get bread. Hopefully she's not already bred. And look, they're gonna manure and urine and compost this deep bedding all winter long. They're on a carbonaceous diaper so that it doesn't get nasty. If you're gonna keep an animal in the same place for a long time, give them some mulch. Why are you laughing? Just say them. Give them a diaper. Yeah. Did it do my voice? Yeah. Did it do my excited voice? Yeah. Carbonaceous diaper. <laughs> Pigs on deep bedding. <laughs> that voice. <laughs> but it means minerals in there. Two minerals, two water feeders. Super easy. What are we gonna make movies about? <laughs> Chores are so easy. Hey, let's roll this up. It's a little warm in here for them. Oh, look at the chickens checking it out. You got some new neighbors. This just feels so good to have them in here. Chores are gonna be easier. They're still going to work. They're separated. This is nice. Do the pigs, do the chicken chores. This is glorious. Time out. I didn't tell you guys why I'm separating these pigs. They are our breeders, but although, well, they're becoming sexually mature anywhere between, at around six months. That's what they are. They're a little over six months old. We don't want to breed them though yet. We want them to become more physically mature so we can ensure more litters throughout their life and better litters, more um, healthy, vibrant litters. That's why we're hoping she hasn't got bred. That's why we've separated them. Back inside, you guys gotta see this. We, we got us an extra pail. Dude, this is sturdy. Now, was this from Premier One? This is from Premier One. Who knew they sell milk pails? I know. Really I good milk pails. Premier One is those fo folks who do our fence. I'm looking like to make our fence. That is sturdy. Yeah. And this really, is 100% stainless steel. It's, I feel like it might be. Because we need two reservoirs for two, two milk cows. Yeah, this is really nice. I hope that'll fit in the cooler. Oh. 
it's not going to work. Because this is too, this is just tall. Just short it enough. Was, this was said it was, it was tall. I know, it said it was, it said it was shorter. It's 14 inches. Do you think you got the wrong one? Is there a smaller one? But we could just put it in a bucket. We could put it in a five gallon bucket and put ice around it. Let's just try one. I want it to work so bad. Nope. We were looking at the width. And the height. The but it's, they, they didn't say height is in this way. That's yeah. the length of it. There's so an L I, I read length. it, it was mine. Right. I think that you could use a Rubbermaid container full of ice. Um, if, you, if you don't want the ice to last true. longer than I know, see, it's kind of nice having the ice last. But though. didn't Jonah throw, throw the ice out? Because it's got, it got milk it in it today it and it gets nasty. So if you just had a Rubbermaid container with the ice, and the ice so just sturdy. went up to here, well, we could get a Yeti thing, Yeti container that has an open lid. Mm. I like the latch on it too. Well, we'll figure something out. And that thing has a rubber gasket in the seal. It's, it, feel, it, it feels right. We're gonna see if we can't make something work. Yeah, we'll figure so, it out. So, you know, Rebecca, we got the pigs in. <gasps> Did you? And, and it just feels right. And are they okay, like, just seeing each other? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they peacefully went into two separate containers. Oh, wow. But they're, like, right there next so, to each other, right? Or yeah. So I've been talking to the folks about how, they may have bread. It's not like with cows, and yeah. it's obvious. I asked, Cliff, he said you might not have noticed. So we're hoping for this. This is a lesson I want to communicate. I, you mm -hmm. know, I think they see it lived out in our blogs. But we just do things, and so even if it's wrong. Sometimes, sometimes things go wrong. Like we just got breeder pigs, and I, I, I figured they might come in. That they, I knew that they come in heat at six months, and I guess we never took time to think about. Do we breed them then, or do we wait? And then I was like, wait a minute, we wait with sheep, with sheep. we yeah. should probably wait with pigs. Well, I'll say this. Yeah. If they are bred, it's not the end of the world. No. It's so not. Usually that's what I want to say, But I'm too. saying like this, too, though. When you have livestock, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you have cows, heifers can accidentally get bred too early. And it's it, it can... You know, stunt their growth and things like that, but yeah, it's, not it's not the end of the world. The end of and the most world. of these, like doing something if you're wrong, are not the end of the world. Like, okay, where's that thing? Where's the where's the milk pail? Right there. That was wrong. Like, if we would have well, realized, I measured, I read it. Yes, wrong. but we thought it was ten this way, but I bet it's ten to right. Here. No, it was it's ten across. It's probably ten across. But then, but there was three dimensions, so maybe well, it, was it was ten to right here. With so, but anyway, with like the height, like. Okay, we were, we ordered the wrong thing. We could send it back, or we could make the cooler work, the cooling system work. Yeah. So most, you know, we could have sit there and analyze the browse and well, really figured it out, or we could just do. Yeah. So that's what I'm encouraging you guys to do in our third master class, and I'm giving it to you guys. It's do something even if it's wrong. That's one of the five commandments I'm highlighting for successful homesteading and farm. Go check that out, guys. It's free, down in the description, or you can type it in at polyfacedesigns.com. You'll get the Salatin bundle, and that's just one of the many things inside of that. What's this? Oh, they got the wrong thing. That's all right. Oh, my goodness. I didn't ask, Do our... I didn't ask for this one, but that's all right. So tell them what this is. I'm making up little gift bags for the um, FedEx and... UPS, Postal I Service. I know, but they'll be back. I know, back. but they'll be back before Christmas. And I can give it to Even them. Even after. After. You know you have 12 days of Christmas. Yes. You don't like to admit that, but. No, I, I'm, in, I'm fully embracing it. Fully embracing it. <laughs>